My name is Sebastian Kunz. I'm a consultant orthopedic and trauma surgeon, and I'm head of the project here with Bristol City. It's a collaborative effort, a company called Altruistic, who are helping us develop a, a database platform to try and interact with artificial intelligence and um, machine learning to learn more about our data so that we can react in real time and not do it retrospectively. But a lot of the people that you see here and have, have been around the department for the last few days analysing our players are biomechanists, mainly from London South Bank University, and um, you know they're top of the tree in terms of their field. So we want to get the latest science and want to bring it into a clinical field. Hence we have all a lot of biomechanists, like 10 biomechanists here to assess all the players. So for us we're obviously leaning very heavily on them with regards to the outcome of these studies and, and um, hopefully that will stand us in good stead over the close season and moving forwards into next pre-season. We're testing the whole squad. We're assessing them in terms of functional capacities. We have different stations where we do that. We have one station where we assess the motion of each player. And then we have one station where we assess the muscle quality of each player. And another station where we analyze the tendon quality of each player, specifically the Achilles tendon. It's massively beneficial really to have access to this type of equipment and the expertise along with it is you know, paramount important to us. Um, it gives us a different way of examining the players, a way of um, reconstructing their own movement patterns so that we can improve that and help performance but also try and reduce our risk of injuries. The station motion capture is we're using an infrared camera system so we place markers, anatomical landmarks, reflective markers and then we can collect what it's called the kinematics, meaning the joint angles, how someone moves, particularly how he jumps. And then we let them jumping on force plates so we get the ground reaction forces. By combining the kinematics and the kinetics we are able to calculate how much load is actually on each joint, meaning the ankles, the knees and the hips. So we can see abnormalities. Both these systems create a, a model which then refers directly and can be translated into meaningful data and in the report where we can come up with a detailed and bespoke training plan for each player. Go, 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 go. The Achilles tendon station is a very innovative and very new station. For the first time we are able to measure the strength of a tendon. So we're using dynamometry in combination with ultrasound in order to calculate the stiffness and the strain of the tendon, which means in overall how strong the tendon is or how weak it is. By doing that, we can then provide the player a detailed plan what he needs to do in order to strengthen his tendon in case we find weakness. And go. Go. So by strengthening the tendon and, and integrating it in the optimized muscle tendon unit, we really can help a player to perform better and to reduce his injuries. The muscle station, we analyze the function of the muscles, specifically the quadriceps and the hamstrings muscle. So we want to know the function of the, of the muscles in terms of strength, but also in terms of muscle architecture and activation to see if there are deficits which could put the player at risk to getting injured. Already from some of the preliminary results, we already know that we need to change track with certain individuals just to try and help them be um, as robust as they can be over the closed season so that when we get to the pre-season using those results from these tests we can try and prevent injuries in that period because that's a hugely important time for us as a club. The movement analysis stuff I've worked in before when I used to work in the NHS at Derby Royal at the gait analysis laboratory there and it's something that other clubs that I've tried to implement but haven't had the success or the backing of the clubs to actually implement it at that stage. So it's a huge opportunity for us, as I said, to come into a collaborative um, venture with, with companies like Altruistic and London South Bank. And um, it's something we're looking to see the, the, the benefits and, and rewards of that type of an intervention. And we absolutely believe in data-driven decisions. And by integrating all the data points which are already collected in the club, we can really design and create a digital ecosystem where all data points are feeding together and coming together and giving us meaningful and actionable insights. 
in terms of technology, most of the players are really um, upskilled on that, probably higher up than I am, to be perfectly honest. So it's great from their side of things. And the fact that they're welcoming new ideas and they're starting to question um, their knowledge of themselves and understand how they can improve their own performance, real key things for us.